On Memorial Day, April 27, 2019, a severe weather system generated a number of tornadoes that struck the Dayton area region. It was the worst tornado event in Dayton's history. All in all, there were 15 different touchdowns of tornadoes, varying in intensity and in the area affected. This report is being generated on the 4th of July. The storm struck at about 10 p.m., so it was dark so you couldn't see them. Joyce and I took shelter in our basement. But the technology to predict and track tornadoes has improved. Miraculously, there were no fatalities, which is remarkable given the extent of damages to houses and apartments. We had a 30-minute warning for the sirens, by the sirens. Xenia only had a seven-minute warning in 1974 and dozens of fatalities. The most impressive new technology is radar that detects the debris picked up by tornadoes so the weatherman can now tell exactly where and when the tornado is located. This report on the cleanup is being written more than five weeks after the event and still much of it is as it was right after the storm. A few roofs have been repaired, but most have not. Many people have not received their insurance payment, and materials and roofing crews are scarce. Most power has been restored, but there are still a few traffic lights not repaired. While the tornado was centered on the center of Dayton, downtown was missed. To my knowledge, no trailer parks were hit, though many apartments were. There are still over 300 families that have been displaced by the storm. Wright-Patterson Air Force Base was spared, even though there were touchdowns all around it. Joyce and I were very friend. Uh, Joyce and I were very fortunate to have been spared by the storm, but the tornadoes hit within one mile of, of our house. We never lost electricity, but thousands did. The only impact to us was our cable was out for a week. It was difficult to drive around because of so many trees and power lines down. Once the electrical repair was underway, it sometimes was hard to get around because of all the electrical worker trucks. Electrical workers from around the country came in to help. About half the traffic lights were down the next day. Again, Joyce and I thank God that our families were spared.